M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Ham Geek PMR171, all mode, all band radio, even DMR. On the right hand side, I've got the Q900 because you can see the keypad a bit better. So you can see on the right hand side, you've got a navigation key menu in the middle with arrows up and down. AF, RF, receive, mode, tune. Looks like it's got a built in tuner. It's 20 watts, A and B band, noise reduction, display, PA, bandwidth. Now, the actual Ham Geek radio has two antenna connectors at the front. One of them is actually called a TN something, TNC I think he said, but you can get an adapter for it. There's even a GPS antenna connection there. You can see by my photograph, there's a, the battery will unclip and you can power it in the normal way. Or there actually is a cable that runs from the battery to the radio, so it doesn't actually have to be attached to the radio. So packed with functions, quite a lot of photographs here. If you look on YouTube, there are people demonstrating this device now. So check it out, I haven't got this device. I do think it's gonna spark people's interest. And there's the battery one there, look, the way it clips on. Now the one I saw, yeah, on the side you had the, there it is, the DC output that goes into the front of the device. You've got your USB connectors there for FTA, or you know, all your digi modes, and there's a, I'm guessing that's the main radio connector there and some other ones there for audio. So I haven't got this device, but I'm just showing it. This is the full kit, as you can see. It does cost more for the, all of the modules if you're gonna want DMR and all that kind of stuff. And you've got this quite nifty design there. So yeah, I'm not really sure what to think about it. I have been contacted by a couple of people who have got it, mixed mixed reviews, but really mainly they've said it's, 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 you know, it's a good fun radio. I thought it was like the G90, but actually I'm being told, no, it's not like the G90, it's more like this one, which is the Q900, which has been out for a while. There it is in blue. It's more like this, but, but off, there's, a, there's a tuning knob on the front. You can see that on the right hand side. Looks like the microphone connector is on the front as well. So check it out, let me know what you think. Is it worth seven, it's gonna be 700 pound. I'm still waiting for the new ASU one to come out, the replacement for the 818. It's bound to come out eventually, isn't it? Thanks for watching my channel, 73. Links in description, bye for now.